Okay, here's our video on LCM, lowest common multiple, word problems. So when do we use the LCM? That's the question. So when you want to know when things will repeat again, that's when we'll use the LCM. When you want to know when things line up, we'll use the LCM. So we'll do a couple of examples and you'll see when we use the LCM. So let's review from the last video. We did find the LCM. So let's just try one right now. Find the LCM of 12, 18, and 22. So remember, from the last video, we did the box method. And we can also use the tree method. So let's do that. Let's line these up. So if we had 12, 18, and 22. Bring that up now. And let's just get the prime factorizations. We'll get the prime factorizations of each. So with 12, we have, well, 3 times 2 times 2. So here we have, we can circle all the prime numbers. Always circle when you have the primes. And for 18, we have 3 times 3 times 2. So we circle all the primes. We'll put some lines down here. All right, because 9 times 2 is 18, and 6 times 2 is 12. And for 22, we have 11 times 2, and those are all prime numbers. So here we have all the prime numbers. These are the prime factorizations of the number. And with the LCM, we want to know, very important, what number has the most of each. Okay? So let's see. We have 12 has 1, 3. 18 has 2, 3s. So we don't care about that 3 anymore, because 18 has the most 3s. 12 has 2, 2s. 18 has 1, 2. 22 has 1, 2. So we don't care about these 2s. So we're left with 2, 2s two threes and an eleven so what do we do we just multiply what whatever we have left whatever we didn't cross out we just multiply and that'll be the LCM so I'll do that eleven times nine times four what do you get okay and if you multiply that we find the LCM would be 396 so let's look at a scenario if we had 12 18 and 22 Let's say for buses, let's say bus A, here's bus A. Bus A leaves the station and comes back every 12 minutes. Bus B leaves the station, comes back every 18 minutes. And bus C leaves the station and comes back every 22 minutes. So with the LCM, we want to know when will all three of these buses be at the station again at the same time? Now if they all left the station, let's say at 9 a.m., Okay, we know that at 9.12, bus A will be back. At 9.18, bus B would be back. And at 9.22, bus C would be back. But when will all three come together again? So when will they line up again? That's what the LCM does. In 396 minutes. Okay, and 396 minutes is 6 hours and 36 minutes. So at 3.36 p.m., all three buses will be back in the station. So again, the LCM is important when we want to know when things will line up again, when they will repeat. That's what we do the LCM for. So let's do one by yourself now. So here's a question. Bus Alpha leaves the station at 10 o'clock and takes 20 minutes to come back. Bus Beta also left the station at 10 o'clock but takes 40 minutes to return. Okay, so what do you think the question is going to be? question is when will both buses be at the station together again so what we just need, have to take the numbers that we had right we have bus a we have bus b bus alpha bus beta we know from here that says bus alpha takes 20 minutes to return so we have 20 and bus beta takes 40 minutes when will they be back in the station again so they left at 10 o'clock Okay, so we'll put 10 o'clock up here. So let's break it down. Get the prime factorization, and what do you get? Well, we have 10 times 2. We'll circle that. And now we have 5 times 2. There's all our primes. You should get a better mark here. It looks like it's drying up on me. And here we have, we can do 20 times 2. All right, let's put that in red so we see it better. Right. Then we have 5 times 4, 
and we have 2 times 2. Double check, 5 times 2 is 10, times 2 is 20, times 2 is 40. So, who has the most 2s? 40. 40 has 3, so we don't want those 2s anymore. Who has the most 5s? They both have the same. So if they both have the same, we're only going to keep 1. So we're keeping all these 2s. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. They both have a 5, so we're only taking one of them. And the LCM is 40. So when will the buses be together again? At 1040. So remember this. If they both share the same amount, keep one of them. Okay, let's look at another way we can use the LCM. Let's say at a store. We have a grand opening of a new store. Whatever the store is, we have a grand opening. And here's the question. Every eighth person receives a free mug. Whoever walks into the store, the, every eighth person is going to get a mug. So here we are at the store. Here's our store, and all these people are in line. Right? Here's all the people waiting for the store to open. Now, we know that the eighth person in line, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, it's the last person right there, this person is getting a mug. Every eight people get a mug. So again, the sixteenth person will get a mug and so forth. Now, also, so we know every eighth person receives a mug, every twelfth person receives a free t-shirt. Okay. And we'll do one more, and every twenty-eighth person Every 28th person receives a free hat. So we have an else we have an 8th person receiving a mug, 12th person receiving a t-shirt, and a 28th person receiving a free hat. So a question we can use here is when will someone get all three? Someone in online or in line, whatever you want to say, someone online is gonna get a t-shirt, a mug, and a free hat. When these numbers line up. That's the LCM. So let's let's do that. Let's get the LCM of each of these numbers. Bring that up. So here we have 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And times 2 is 8. So we're done there. 12 we have 3 times 2 times 2. We should circle these numbers. All right. And... We have 14 times 2, that's 28, and we can break down the 14. So now we have all our prime numbers. So who has the most 2s? The 8. So we don't want any of these 2s. Who has the most 7s? 28. And who has the most 3s? 12. So what we're doing now is we're going to do 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. This is our box. Multiply that and you'll have your answer. Okay, and if you multiply that, the 168th person online will get all three. And again, it's not just the 168th person, but every 168th person that goes into the store. We can also use LCM when we want to look at, let's say, in astronomy, lining up the planets. Right? You don't see this often where all the planets are aligned. Right, from Mercury straight down, and that's the sun there. We have Mercury, and then, well, here's Mercury, actually. It's a little smaller than Venus. It's not to scale. Okay, so when we do that, we have our orbits here on the planets, and maybe it's, you can't really see this, but they're all circling the sun, right? We have this um, heliocentric, helio means sun, so we have a heliocentric version. That's what we believe in. A long time ago, they believed in the geocentric Everyone thought that all these planets and the sun revolved about around Earth. But we know that's not true. By the way, you can see this is Pluto, which used to be called a planet. Now it's a dwarf planet, and it has a weird orbit. Sometimes you can see that Pluto is actually not closer than Neptune. And it happens sometime. So anyway, if we wanted to know when the planets will align, let's say, for example, Mars and Earth, we can use the LCM to figure that out. So here we have the Sun and Earth and Mars lined up, and they, they have lined up. Last time they did that was in 2014. So on uh, April 8th, 2014, Mars and Earth were lined up. So if we want to know when they will line up again, 
we just use the LCM. So the Earth takes 365 days to orbit the Sun and Mars takes 687 days. So if we use that, we can get when they will line up again. Okay. So again, we need to find the LCM of 365 and 687. You'll get a long number, so I don't want you to do it. I just, I'm just showing you that we can use astronomy to get that. Now, if you wanted to pause the tape and find it, I'll give you the answer, but it's, I'll just write it over here. It's over 25,000 days. 25,000, well, let's see. 25, roughly, 250,755 days. It's a long time. Now, here's the trick, and let me just go over this again. It doesn't mean that it's going to take over 200,000 days for that to, for Mars and Earth to line up again. It means it'll take that many days for it to be in this area again. Remember, they can also line up somewhere else along the oval, along their orbits. But if you wanted it to come back to this exact spot in space, it would take that many days. Remember, Earth is going faster than Mars. So at one point, they could also line up maybe over here. But anyway, I was just letting you understand that LCM could be used when you want to know when things will line up, when things will come back together, when things will repeat. You could also use it, let's say, for boxes. If you had a box, let's draw a box. Let's say this box was 5 inches, and we had a bigger box that was, let's say, 8 inches. Bring it down here so we see it. And you wanted to line these boxes so they're even. Right? The LCM will tell you that. When these boxes are finally even, they're the same height. That's the LCM. Now, 5 is already prime. And you know that they won't share any common factor. So if you just multiply the two, you'll get 40. So if you make... You have to make eight boxes of five. Let's just see if we can even fit it up here. We're going to run out of room. Well, we have four. We'll just cut the boxes. Let's say these are five inches. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's say that each of these were five inches. So we know that at 40 inches, we can get eight boxes of five and five boxes of eight. So again, when things line up, when things repeat, that's when we do the LCM. Okay, great job.